Um, so, Deanna. Andrew. The purpose of this video, let's, um, let's just get it out of the way. Uh, what has led you to the decision to depart from the well? Um, ultimately my children. Um, my boys are down south. I spent so many years apart from them. And I think from learning how to love all the children here has really taught me how to be a mama. And I want to go share that love with my children and hopefully future grandchildren. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is Tommy going to see this? <laughs> Probably. So you are leaving us kind of towards the end of March. Yes. Um, to go be with your family. Yes. Down south. Uh, so we just wanted to do kind of a a little farewell video. We wanted that you've connected with so many people in Blind River. Lots of people love you. I love um, lots of people here too. Some people just like you. Um, <laughs> Did you say dislike me or no, like just, me? No, yeah, just. Yeah, those oh. are the two options. It's okay. like eighty-five percent of them love you and fifteen percent they like you. Oh, that's cool. No, I was that's I don't cool. Know. Um, <laughs> so, as a recap of your time at the well. Why don't you share a couple of moments, like key moments that stood out to you since you've been here? Um, number one, the children, um, as I like to call them, the children's. I never anticipated on loving the children as much as I do, or being around them. That has, they have so much to teach us, and they are just little people with less experience. Uh, and uh, they like my food, so I love them. <laughs> I have taught them, I think, about vegetables. Okay, as when I first started here, they wouldn't eat anything they could see a vegetable in. I had to have the hidden veggies, where now they eat vegetables, no problem, no more honey. Yeah, it's, their palates have, have broadened. Yes. Considerably, for sure. Yeah, so that's my, like, number one would be how much I love the children and how much they love my food. That's surprising. Do you have any, do any like little stories come to mind? I think you can kind of. Doing vision that. boards with yeah. the kids was, was something that was very cool and I got to know about their dreams. Um, different children, it was surprising how many boys hung around the kitchen and wanted to come and talk. You know, you think the girls with the cooking and stuff, but boys are very interested in food and I thought that was very cool. Um, all the different, um, private stories the kids have shared with me yeah. and the one-on-one -on -one talks and those times have meant the world to me. When you first connected, was it like so August 20, it was August 22? of 2022, yeah. Yeah. So Rachel had done the, the food stability program as it was, was about, mm -hmm. the goal was about 12 meals a week. It was one day a week. Yeah. Um, Rachel, my wife, was doing it and then she was like about to bust with pregnancy with yes. with child um <laughs> and she was working and stuff so we were at the end of the summer we had the, the our cyws and stuff at the end of the summer we were looking for someone to to ha just help with it um and then you came and just volunteered for it was like months before we could pay you at all about Five months. Like four or five months, yeah. And uh, and the way that you have grown the program, I mean, it's just, it's been incredible. So we've we've talked about the numbers. It's I think it's about it's over thirty meals a day that we're yes. open. Yes. Um, there's the by donation, so we're, we're feeding not just kids. We're feeding anybody can come in at lunchtime. Yeah. Um, and that this year has changed too, because last yeah. year the kids didn't come in for lunch, they just came after school. And all of a sudden this yeah. September they started showing up for lunch as well. So even though yeah. I had, we had the free meal by donation, like the numbers went way up from feeding kids every day. And that yeah. has just continued on and it has been a joy to feed everybody and to be around them. But that was big. Plus we have the fruit bowl, which always has fruit in it and it gets eaten well. So yeah. that's something I think that is really good. And we had started with the idea of having a soup kitchen, but it just turned into being every week, Tuesday. That's It was gonna be like 
we had the meals for the kids every Wednesday and then once a month or every other Saturday or something. Now it's just yeah. every Tuesday. Just every day. The, it's every day. Every day that we're open that there's yeah. food by donation. Yeah. And Home cooked the, food too, which is great. Or well made. Yes, well um, made. <laughs> the uh, the cooking class has been really exciting. So we had the cook with D yes. program um, and then the transition to the cook with me program which is uh was funded through camco yes um and seeing you connect with the different kids and that's that's the other part you said you're you're the memories of the kids and not you know expecting to to connect with them so much you've become such a uh kind of a maternal figure The, the kids gravitate to you they they connect with you really well um, so it really, it has been such a, it's been great. F- I mean, it's been great for us, after a while, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's been great to see it. And I think it's been great for the community. Um, yeah. Yes. For so me, bummer it's for been, us. Uh, yes. But I just know that somebody special is going to come and take it now to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be good. And I just, my greatest hope is that the people will continue to be fed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so speaking of being fed, what are the, we kind of went over the numbers and stuff. Uh-huh. What impact, f- just in your words, what's the impact of the food stability program for Blind River? Um, like food is more than just feeding a belly. Food is so much more. It's giving them a safe place to come food to eat no judgment i think that was a really big impact no judgment no matter where you're coming for or why the reasons why you need the food and other throughout my life i'd seen and in my own life seen like when a person is in need the shame i know that shame that comes from needing food or admitting you're hungry or having to ask a whole bunch of like answer a whole bunch of questions in order to just be fed and here i'd love that it was like no questions asked I'll just are you hungry do you like this um what is, okay so talking to this is your chance you're talking to all of the people that you have connected with mm-hmm. through social media is there anything you want to say to the public, as it were, to Well, our, my our peeps, yeah, <laughs> it peeps. has been a good ride. And I want to thank everybody for their support. And not just to the program, but to me as well and all the encouragement. Uh, yeah, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> um, when I came out with the first videos I never anticipated on being accepted and just accepted how I am and the way I am my past and that did so much healing for me and I hope that everybody that did it for me will continue to do it for others because it makes a difference and sometimes people can't believe in themselves but when enough people tell you that you're good or that you can do it, you know what, you start to believe it. And I just wish there was more of that in this world because it works. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that has encouraged me and helped make this program what it is. And uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's been it's like the end of an era. Like it, it's such a, yeah. It's, it's huge for us. Like, you've been, we have, like, our kids love you. Um, <laughs> I love your kids. Like, you, <laughs> you know, we have memories of you coming over and jumping on the trampoline with, with Joni Mae for, like, <laughs> a long time. Um, <laughs> That's why yeah. I need to have grandbabies. Okay, well, I could still jump on the trampoline. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> but getting to love your kids and everything taught me like how much I'm gonna love to be a grandma one day. Oh yeah, you'll be great. Grandma. And the way that I will see children in the world is forever changed. Okay, no matter yeah. where I go in this earth, the children will be the children's to me. Mm. I will try to feed children everywhere I go. Okay, as long as there's permission from their parents. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
the, the Walmart <laughs> parking lot. Yeah. yeah, and I hope to be able to continue feeding people. I've always had a passion for feeding people and helping yeah. people feel less alone, less um, judged. Yeah. You know, it's not even people who are poor. There's all kinds of reasons why somebody might need a bowl of soup. Totally. Maybe they're alone, a widow. It, like, it, there's all kinds of reasons. And a bowl of soup can change somebody's day. Totally. Yeah, and I think it has, the fact that it's food, yes. I think has also helped with the connection between between us and the kids, between you and the, the different students, you know, eating with people is one, one of the big goals was to have it here i mean we could yeah we do have it to go but we want the other part of the um of the connection um and you've been yeah you've been great at it so what wishes do you have and I, I mean, this isn't like a contract, you know, we might not. If you say we want a bouncy castle in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> Is this like a rub a <laughs> No, like what wishes do you, yeah. No, not, not yeah, you rub the genie or whatever. Um, no, for the program. Yes. Do you have any sort of hopes and dreams, like if you had stayed or things like for the your future vision for the food stability program? Um. Yes, like all the vending shows, you can go to Rip Fast and cook at the concert and be out there amongst the people was also one of, like great memories, something I really enjoyed. And I, my, one of my wishes is that that will continue. Um, I have been cooking in the school with the grade eights. That's also a wish of mine that that would continue. Yeah, well, and you were, they just, I mean, we have all the pictures and stuff. Like the, I think they, they gained a lot because we're in there teaching them how to cook. And we have I th we have a lot of them that come here and learn how to cook, but part of that program was the, like, we didn't just deliver it. No. They were there with you cooking and, and connecting. And the school, like, big shout out to St. Joe's and the different yes. people there that were part of that decision it, um, for letting us come in and do that. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be teaching in a French Catholic school. Yeah. <laughs> But thank you for that opportunity, and that is something I will carry with me forever. Same thing with the cooking classes, all of that. I hope that just continues to grow, and uh, yeah. yeah, like that would. I wish that that would continue to grow, that people will always feel uh, that they can get something to eat with no judgment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so two more questions. One ties in with the going forward. What? Would you? What would be your advice to the future food stability? What are the key things that you would say are you've learned or are important um, for that person? Um, to have fun with it. Yeah. Um, also, what you get done, you get done. Okay. Right? Organization is the key. Yeah. Lists and lots of organization. So and glamorous. We organized. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, I mean, that's what it is, right? Yes, lots of organization. And remember, just to have fun with it. Not to take it too seriously. Yeah. And no, there's no perfect in the kitchen. There's no right way of doing things. I mean, other than Kate and Storm this morning, the burning things is wrong. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's the right way, like, you know, there so is, no poison people. But I mean, there's no right there's way of cutting flavors. carrots. Yeah. There's no... There's, you know, there is, but there's no, like, don't yeah. worry about all the little things. No, you're wrong. It's the, the zig, like, the, <laughs> the crickly carrots. That's the, the right way. And what you get like, done, you get done. That's all, right? Yeah. And learn from it as you go. Yeah. Well, was there anything, uh, anything else you want to say? Yeah, that there is a right way. I should have retracted that. No, I just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you According want to correct? According to the Oklahoma you... Public Health, <laughs> there is and a right also, way. And also, there's a right way to cut the carrot. <laughs> um, we're going to, yeah, we're going to miss you big time. I oh, think, I will miss everybody. I think we've talked about potential visits, like mm -hmm. for, you know, Rib Fest maybe. Um, we want to keep things going, so we'll uh, we'll try. Maybe we'll advertise when <laughs> when Deanna's coming. Like, and this one. No, I would love that. We'll have Granny D. Um, <laughs> speaking of Granny D, 
I think I'm gonna have to buy out the pickle supply. No, I would hope somebody would edition. come in and do that as well. I hope that whoever takes my job loves domestic yeah. work as much as I do. And that, that was just like, in order yeah. to have the program grow, you have to have money coming in. And so the pickles yep. was just to raise money and also for the children here to be exposed to it. We definitely want, there's been so many people have donated food. Beyond like, what I can ever. We would do yes. a very long video just to list them. And women and people who've given me their own personal recipes, yeah. right, I will take those with me. <laughs> Are you gonna leave a coffee? I like, know, you gotta start over. No, I know. <laughs> You gotta do what I did to get here. <laughs> it's called Pinterest. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's the, um, that's the advice. Like yeah. YouTube and Pinterest. It's good. Yes, yeah, so I like this. I'm grateful for the opportunity I had to be constantly challenging myself here to yeah. learn something new, which was amazing. You can learn anything off of YouTube. Is there any closing, uh, I just want to say just thank you again. Like words can't say for the opportunity I've had here. Thank you to you and Rachel for the opportunity, giving me the opportunity um, to do everything that's been done here and to God. Like yeah. I couldn't be here without him and wherever I'm going, I hope it's with him. Yeah. Well, and we, we bless you as you're going out and we know like we pray, we'll be praying for you. We know that you'll, um, I'm sure you'll connect. You'll be a, a bright light wherever you go. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have, I, I will announce a, maybe a goodbye D, uh, party closer to when you go and people can come in. Well, we'll get somebody else to cook. You know. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me Not know me. what I should cook. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get McDonald's. No. Last has to eat the D food. <laughs> Maybe get cooked for your own party. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We're we're very grateful. Um, and we'll miss you. I will miss you too. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. We always have Facebook. We always have. Well, yeah. I, I, if there's anything that's eternal, it's, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Dee. Thank you.